Do, do, do. And on to the next. My turn. Yeah, I gotta go to Traverse Town. Are you gonna take the gummy ship to Traverse Town? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll get us to the next world, and then I think we'll call it. Okay. Um, snake trying. Now we can, can look at we it. can revisit some places and unseal more trinities. Okay. Wasn't there a trinity mark in the accessory shop? Maybe. Could this torn page be from Merlin's book? Let's turn the town and give it to him. Yeah. No. Well, that's a, I forgot we got a page. Bot, bot. Snake charming. It's a practice of appearing to hypnotize a snake by playing and waving around an instrument. Oh, maybe it's the waving it around. Maybe. Um. Because like snakes are deaf, I'm pretty sure. Many snake charmers. Are those snakes are able to sense sound? They lack the outer ear that would enable them to hear the music. They oh. Follow the pungi. I guess that's the snake charmer instrument that they hold with their hands. The snake considers a person a pungi a threat and responds to it as if it was a predator. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, so yeah, it's this movement. Well, that's not good. Yeah. And then when they go to attack, you just bop them on the head. <laughs> <laughs> just bop them. You do. It, it, it screws up their, like, it, like, dazes them for a minute. You just whack them. I'm finally upstairs, Ma. Yeah. M little moogles. Yeah. Postcard. Someday we'll make the ultimate weapon. Yeah, this little fucker wants to make the ultimate weapon. Can you believe that shit? He is literally Russia. Literally Russia. I think there's puppies in here. <gasps> puppies! Mithril shard. This shop is going to come in handy. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. Aww, I'm gonna make some he's shit. So cute. He's got the twitchy ears and the twitchy nose. And the adorable little bat wings that are kind of off-putting, given an adorable appearance <laughs> that they're stuck on. Earrings. Can you pierce your ears right now, right here, right now? Yep. <laughs> Alright. I was friends with people who used to do it just for funsies, because we were teenagers and that was the phase that we were in. What, you piercing were... your own ears? Yeah. In other places. Um, in other places. <laughs> yeah. Just randomly, just piercings. We got more stuff. More stuff. I got more MP now, too. Yeah. Let's go give that page the Merlin. Yeah, go back and see Winnie the Pooh. Winnie Pooh the bear. Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I forget the rest of the words to <laughs> this song. Winnie <laughs> the Pooh. Oh, we're almost at 10. Yep. You called it, dude. I'm excited for our postcard prize. It's the equivalent of sending in box tops. <laughs> Pretty much. Did you ever do that? Send in the, like, cereal box box tops? We, not to, like, the, the, uh, like, the cereal company itself. Yeah. But we had box top collections at, uh, school. Mm-hmm. Which I never understood. Because well, I think there's like a lot of, or at least back in like the 90s, I don't know if they still do it, but I know like a lot of those cereal companies had like some sort of like rebate program with, in, with the uh, schools. Oh. Where it's like, send in the box tops and we'll give you like a quarter. Oh. Okay. Or something like that. Because yeah. I, I, I know, I think they still do because I think, I know like a lot of those companies like Kellogg and whatnot, if you look on the box tops, it... It'll say, like, box tops for education or whatever. Yeah, I know that they're tied with school stuff. I just don't know, like, what the plan is that they get from them. But You're I remember... going to build a fort. Yeah, I remember... I remember saving box tops, and then my mom would, like, divvy them up between me and my brother, and she would send us to school with, like, our own little baggie of box tops. Yeah. And then we would go to our teachers and be like, this is our contribution, and there's, like, 12 here or whatever, and then they're like, here's your prize. <laughs> It's like a gumball. <laughs> You're like, a gumball. <laughs> One gumball. One gumball. I got a page. I'm gonna go see the Pooh Bear. You just like haphazardly staple it. <laughs> you know, you just I didn't staple, just like fucking tape. Oh, that really like cartoon, funny cartoon yellow glue. Yeah. Where it comes out of, and it's all like <laughs> stringy, and you're just like. <laughs> 
<laughs> rubber cement. Yep. God, I hate rubber cement. You can huff it and get high. Whoa. <laughs> Did not know that. I mean, anything that smells kind of funny, you can pretty much huff. Yeah. And I, get a little... I don't huff things, so. Uh, you want to go huff some paint? No, I don't. You want to go huff glue? No. I don't want to do any of those things. I want to eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Piglet. Pig. Oh, he's so small. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why it's called Piglet, not Pig. I'm alone. I'm alone and I'm a little bitch. Pooh, help! I'm gonna fucking die! Piglet. I like to think Piglet's like a chihuahua, like he's just constantly shaking just for like... no reason. Jesus! <laughs> Shadow, Shadow the Colossus looks really good. Oh! Bye! You got scared. Oh, he's so <laughs> cute. I guess. It's not cute. So... <laughs> I love him. No, watch. I gotta sneak up on him. Oh, yeah. I gotta sneak up on him and give him a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, and he'll die, and then he doesn't have to worry about dying. Exactly. <laughs> He's so... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Just take it. Just take all my money. Aw. <laughs> That's a good squat. So it's just like, what are you? <laughs> yeah. This is the, this is the thing out of this entire adventure that makes him go, "What the fuck? Yeah, like, what the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just he just oh oh he nutted. <laughs> oh man. I gotta take it to poo. Oh, there he is. <laughs> poo. Just ambling along. <laughs> just doesn't really care very his, much. His 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 spider sense was tingling. He knew he knew that the honey tree came back. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. He's been starving Aww. on the verge of fucking death. And now that his source of food had just reappeared, of course he's got to show up. He's like, hey! Oh, also, hi, Piglet. I like to think that's why Pooh's actually yellow. He just eats so much honey. Like, you know, how, <laughs> you know how when you eat, like, a ton of carrots, you, like, if you eat so much carrots but just ingest vitamin C to a certain degree, you, like, start to turn orange? I believe it. No, it's actually true. Yeah. So I imagine that, like, he just ate so much honey, he's just he's fucking just yellow. Yellow. He lost all his fur, and that's, like, his skin color. <laughs> <laughs> it's jaundice. <laughs> it's jaundice. Hey, for somebody who's jaundice he's he's pretty cheerful. He's pretty okay. Look at those cheeks. He's okay. You just want to squeeze them? Yes. Loop his little ears? <coughs> yes, absolutely. And then kick his big old butt. Yep. If oh, only the bees. <laughs> I'm quite certain I can get a small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Sure. He said honey with H-O-N-E-Y, and then earlier he said honey with H-U-N-N-E-Y. He's not... He, he was he was a little bit more excited. Because <laughs> in the... in the When they, like, talk about it, they talk about it being, like, H-U-N-N-Y or N-N-E-Y or whatever. <laughs> like a stripper name. Yeah, exactly. Like I've mentioned before. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, you could just, like, kick off the... Take... You're a predator. You're a fierce predator. He's, he doesn't fuck with bees, though. <laughs> owls don't eat bees. No, but he can, like, take the... If he's a sentient owl, he can take the beehives down. Yeah, but then there wouldn't be a game for us to play. <laughs> so you see the their own you see, you see the problem here. <laughs> Try the rush. Here we go. Here we go. Song's called us jugglers. Check it. Here's the beat. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I want to stay here forever. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Go catch him. Nah, it's, uh, it's okay. It's good. He's just like, nom, nom, nom. It's okay, Chief. It's okay. <laughs> We're all fine here. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Already 20, almost 20, 20 morsels. 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 He's, he's, a, he's a big bear. He's a big bear. He's the most adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Just let him eat his little heart out. <laughs> I just love for this minigame, I can't use magic. Otherwise, i just fucking blast the bees right out of the, out of the fucking air. Right, yeah, set fire to the beehive. <laughs> I can't. It won't let me use magic. No. Or actually make them, freeze them, and then they'll fall and break. Yeah. Don't want to 
bring fire into the. Yeah, we don't want we don't want like airborne <laughs> little tiny fireballs <laughs> with stingers. <laughs> this is completely inaccurate because honeybees don't even sting. I mean, they do. As a last resort. I thought they didn't have stingers. They have stingers. Oh, fuck yeah, they have stingers. <laughs> oh, fuck that, yeah. Wait, isn't it? Wait, aren't they the ones that, like, if they sting, they get their intestines ripped out? Yeah. Okay. They die. They die. Fuck yeah, they have stingers. <laughs> they got stingers. Uh, I, had a, I had a cousin once who, like, I, I don't know how she managed it. Because mm -hmm. if any, like, if a normal bee will only stand as a last resort, imagine the queen bee. <laughs> she, got, she got stunned by the queen bee once. No, thanks. And it looked pretty fucking gnarly. I'm not gonna lie. It looked really fucking gnarly. I stepped on one of those. Like she, she must have like fucking. She must have fucked with them hardcore to get oh. the queen the stinger. Yeah, like you would. You were. You were in some territory that you didn't need to be in. Yeah. I got. I stepped on one of those uh, underground hornets' nests. Oh. Yeah, I like. I stepped on it, and they all went bzz, like into my uh, foot, and I. I was at recess because we were all playing outside, and I was like, I have. Uh, I went to BW, so I had a dress code, and mm -hmm. I forgot to bring my shoes, my gym clothes, um, or my gym shoes specifically once. So I was like, I'll just go barefoot. We're outside in the grass. It's fine. Right. Um, it was not fine. Oh, I bet. <laughs> and like, I didn't notice after a while, because it was just like, I felt like I had like stepped on a rock or something. I was like, oh, that hurt. Mm -hmm. And then I kept going, and then my foot started to go numb. And I was like, wow, it like really hurts. Like, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. And then I ended up going to the nurse, and like they flipped over my foot, and it was just like all red, and there was like Ugh. a big localized spot with a bunch of stingers in it. That's terrible. Yeah, and then I saw, and I found out earlier, or later rather, that the rest of my class kind of said there's some people who got stung, not on the foot, but like because the bees were agitated, right. and everyone was playing soccer. <laughs> oh, congratulations! You were patient zero. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, that was it. Was that's. The worst time I got stung, there was another time I got stung, um, because there was a bee in my hair, and I thought it was a leaf, and I went to <laughs> pick it, and I, like, pulled it out, and then it was it just in my shit. hand. Yeah, I was like, oh! It's rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> Look at him go. It's gonna stick to your liver, buddy. <laughs> Look at that little fat fuck. <laughs> his, his, The his torn whole... page turned into a new item. Oh. Nature spark. Okay. Let's go. I'm eating honey all the time. And his whole, like, digestive, like, specifically the ones that are meant for cleaning and detoxing. <laughs> and, like, your your blood and all that. And, like, not not in a good place. You know, I am not, like, actually a huge fan of honey. I like honey. It's okay, but... I used to make peanut butter and honey sandwiches for my lunch. I'm not a huge fan of honey. Put in my tea. Paula Dean. Oh, she likes honey. Her her wand is just a stick of butter. <laughs> Let's help this little one. Here we go. Oh, Bibbity bobbity bitch. <laughs> Learn the summon right. Bambi. What is Bambi gonna do? <laughs> he jumps around and drops MP orbs like a motherfucker. Mm. And then he also <laughs> like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and then he also um. As you kill more enemies, his little bar fills up, and when he gets full, he drops like better items. Oh wow. Yeah. So he's at fight, he's like, oh, support. Kind of, yeah. Gotcha. I was gonna say, what does he do? Summon his mom? Nope. Summon <laughs> yeah. his dad? Nope. <laughs> next world. Oh, boy. I'm gonna go to the next world. <laughs> Little fit. Well, actually, big fish. Big fish. I think the next world will tickle you a bit. Is it underwater? Uh, Since no. fish? Are you sure? It is not underwater, but there is an underwater world coming up soon. Oh. Is it Ariel's world? Probably. <laughs> Don't you want to save gummies for Robert? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the next world. Oh, so you're not gonna save gummies for Robert? I mean, we there's a few more routes. Okay. There's still a couple more gummy routes. <laughs> we should tell him when he gets back that we did all of the routes. Just. <laughs> just specifically, so he can't do it anymore. <laughs> I mean, I doubt he would lose much sleep over it, in all honesty. <laughs> what was that place? You missed it. No, I don't want to go there. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, tr yeah, like, I understand why you're confused, because the first time I played this game, it confused the fuck out of me for the longest time. Is it like a map in real, like... Because that, that, that warp hole will send me right back to Tarzan's world. 
Um, oh. But yeah, it's like it confused the. Like, I didn't understand that I was supposed to go around the warp hole. Nah. When I was a kid, and then, like, for the longest time, I couldn't figure out where to go after Agrabah. Yeah. And I kept getting pissed. <laughs> until, getting until, pissed. A friend, until a friend of mine was like, no, you need to go around the warp hole. Uh, I was like, what? You can go around it. Here I come. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna stop you people from making the frogs freaking gay. Frogs gay. How many layers of color can we put on one screen? Right? Let's find out. It's a lot a lot of layers. Do 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 ba 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 Oh. 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 Aww. No, now you're out. <laughs> now you're, <laughs> out of, you're out of rhythm. It's okay. It's like when you speed up to hit a traffic light and then you don't make yeah. it. <laughs> and then you're out of rhythm. It, it's it's not Gucci. No. You know, if you go the speed limit, you're more likely to hit more green lights than people who are like speeding up and slowing down. Well, yeah, it's because the uh, street lights are made on a timer, mm -hmm. so they're sort of a rhythm. Mm -hmm. And what the hell is that? It's a whale. It's a space whale. Space whale. Whoa, it's huge. Space whale. <coughs> space whale. <coughs> space. It's funny in this game, whale. he's a world, but in Birth by Sleep, he's a boss fight. <laughs> it's a giant whale. It's Monstro. He's oh, a whale of yeah. a whale and vicious besides. A whale of a whale. Doesn't Sora get us out of here? No. I will not. He's gonna swallow us. And then you're gonna be in Pinocchio world. I'm too wow. late. You had way... You had enough time. <laughs> Sora, you had so much time to just be like, <laughs> alright. <laughs> He's a pretty big whale. Also, I thought Donald was driving. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. I'm pretty sure Donald was driving. Because mm -hmm, he threw a whole big hissy fit. It's true. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, is it your parents? Like, oh no. <laughs> you sure you didn't just hear it this time? They're babies. They're babies. It looks like, uh, Titus? Yeah. Yeah. The young Sora. Sora <laughs> looks like Titus. <laughs> Suppose there really is a monster. Think we could beat it by ourselves, Sora? No, absolutely not. <laughs> They're four. You're your children. No problem. Let's do it. Well, you could tell it's them because they're wearing the same color scheme and kind of the same clothing, but mm -hmm. as children. No. You gotta be careful. Well, you can tell Riku is Riku because his hair. Yeah. But Sora just looks like young Titus. Are they brothers? <laughs> no. <Sora and> no. <laughs> it's just the wind. I wish it was a monster. Oh man. And what's that over there? It's called a tree trunk. It's actually roots. Nah, man. Oh, the door. Window or maybe a door. It won't open. Is that really that's all that's in here? Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. Me too. Maybe we should eat these children. Okay. <laughs> when we grow up, we're leaving our hometown. You're very ambitious for a child. I mean, like, that's saying something. Because children are ambitious. <laughs> Isn't there anything fun to do now? You know the new girl at the mayor's house? You know? You know that place? Yeah. What happened to her music, by the way? It, it, it went away. Because it's a memories? Yeah. Is it going to come back? Probably. It just doesn't. <laughs> there it is. Hey, Sora! Sora! Okay. What, what are you guys doing? doing? Where are we anyway? That's a good question. Do we wreck our ship? Oh no, we're in the whale, that's right. <laughs> oh, you know, I think that big old whale monstro just swallowed. <laughs> you called it, dude. And for today's weather, expect showers. <laughs> Bork? Heavy showers. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's so funny. It's me! Oh, it's just 
Pinocchio. 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 Where are you going? Pinocchio. I was like, I'm busy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I am busy. <laughs> I got stuff to do. Monstro. This world's like actually totally skippable. What? Yeah. Oh, can you go around like to the other? Like, no, you could just get in the gummy ship and just keep going. Oh. Okay. Sure. I mean, I don't recommend it. There's some stuff here, but. Yeah, you could you could skip this world and like the next two worlds. Wow. If you really wanted to. If you really... Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Oh my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness. Yeah, looks like it. Geppetto, fuck you. you. You're dressed like it's the 1600s. I mean, maybe it is. No. <laughs> no. I traveled all over looking for him. Thank you. I do love the, the little added touch they did of like when Pinocchio walks he makes like the little mechanical noise. Yeah, I was thinking about earlier when we were fighting the armor because it makes like a when you hit it it makes like a crunching metal sound. Mm -hmm. and I was like, that's good. Little fish. Little fish. Pinocchio. Right, Pinocchio. Like, I got Pinocchio. I don't like the <laughs> the weird bones that yeah. are like, curved. <laughs> it's a whale. I don't, I don't, I'm not... I've warned him not to wander off here. He could be a naughty boy. He could be, yeah. Even so, he's very precious to me. Well, I think we'll save looking for Pinocchio until next time. I think that's a good spot to leave it. What do you think? Yes, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you everybody for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye!